Hey everybody, welcome back to Ground Year 2. Last time we went to the Royal Hills for a little side quest, side mission, so to say. Uh, actually, we just want to go to the East Elysia now. I'm pretty sure we actually need to go to yeah the Seven Kingdom South to progress the story here. I'm actually surprised we haven't reached the final boss yet. Because some people told me Grand Year 2 is supposedly so short, but I don't really feel like it is. Maybe it's just because I've been grinding and I went to the special stage though. Let's see. How horrible. Why must I do such things? It's not the taking of lives enough. Must I violate the dead as well? Oh, she's talking about that like people come back as creatures of Valmer, basically. As we've seen, not last episode, but the episode before that. Last episode was not like plot critical at all. This is a mockery. Merrick did not give his life for this. I will kill them. I will kill them all. Wait, like, just a second. Merrick died, right? Like, will he... Do you think they will bring him back as like a Valmar pawn or something? That would be really interesting. Or like a boss or something. Beauty, you must not allow your heart to be filled with anger, or you will be as your brother was. The heart is not meant for anger, but for suffering. Even if we want to destroy them, we still do not know how to release the horns of Valmer. If you were to join in battle, you would simply become possessed by Valmer. You got a point, Ron. You horny? What is this? Uh, there's a little bit of an you ink leak. miserable human beings! Witness the birth of your new god! This is the time of judgment! Okay, the Pope has spoken. Uh, this is like a Dark Souls boss. This is the Hydra at Ash Lake or <laughs> something like that. What the fuck? Valmer has found me. It would be pointless to try and make a run for it at this point. Where would we go? No, there's no escape. There must be a way. A way to kill them. A way to bury them. Bury? That's it! Graves! <laughs> what are you talking about? The Simon royal family has a mausoleum that only doors of royal blood may enter, and only during funerals. I was there for my mother's funeral. It may be that the history of the people of darkness rests there intact. That's very like Deus Ex Machina Ron. The record of the royal family who fought on Valmar's side. We may discover something we can use. There's no time to spare, the royal mausoleum is to the south, we must hurry. To the south we go then. I'm just assuming that's there, I mean it even points directly to the royal mausoleum. Thank you very much. No enemies here? Not yet at least. Where, where, where do I walk here? It's like sealed off, but I also cannot walk on this. Ah. Pardon me. I didn't realize that was where we were headed. Those vases look creepy, man. Am I the only one seeing a face in them? Now look, the art is really nice actually. This is something Grandia 3, uh, Grandia 3, Grandia 1 had more of the Grandia 2. This is like, those murals and stuff like that. I feel like Grandia 2 is more like naturalistic in its design. A lot of caves and planes and stuff like that. This cannot be, they also strictly followed. There must be something. Maybe it's the big beardy dude. Theo, will you unlock this or something? Theo, is something wrong? I see. This is the entrance. Yeah, but there's no way in. Dude, this, the sun thing totally looks like a door. No, it's here, without a doubt. But the door will not open. Opening the entrance requires a control metal which powers up the system. Oh, this is what Rhodes metal was for, right? Probably. I know. I have the medal, that there was another door that sealed in the darkness. That explains why 
the king or whoever was open to uh, was able to open the door that quote unquote sealed the darkness because uh it basically this medal was not the key for that door but the key for this door i guess plonk then i shall open the door please open my way a little shaky in here the door is open everyone please go out oh so we are in like an elevator or something right now kind of gave up that of that vibe like that's very ground here yeah okay uh i have to go down here birthplace of the gods one a little suspicious Oh, it, so it wasn't an elevator, but like it, it wasn't. What's the opposite of an elevator? Like it lifted the entire building up. Okay. Uh, birthplace of the gods. Thank you. I'll just take a second to save the game here. Five minutes in. Very nice. Just in case one of those sad gods comes and obliterates us. Look, it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh. Like playing field man. He who worships light shall gather around the wonder of the blue earth, the red sun and the yellow moon then scatter. However, oh he who falsely worships light and is discontent in its power, he shall know only permanent midnight. Okay, so you say I have to look like for some keys. Uh, 2500 gold, thank you. I don't even know where the we need gold anymore at this point? This door is sealed. Just rotating to see whether it is anything. Let's see, uh, there's fightable enemies. What do I fear? I feel like, quote me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Grandia 2 recycles more enemies than Grandia 1. I love the Death Dobermans. Could be like a Kojima character. Uh, you know, the save point is really close nearby. Why don't you just go in with a Sky Dragon Slash at this point? Sworn enemies, you shall be Can you just defeated. restore SP? Take that. Super scum. Sky Dragon Slash. I wonder, Grande, where we are playing as a big, like. Burly character like Merrick or Gatwin or something. <laughs> These guys were no good they should just make some like something that's called Grandia Heroes or whatever, where you can just play whoever you want to in like an RPG story. That would be so sick, man. Uh, where do we go? Can't go here, but there's cash money on the other side. There's a door here, noted. <laughs> Uh, something just growled at me. Uh, it's just more yetis, okay. Also, I feel like they changed the names of some enemies around. Because those yetis are like brown, right? But I'm pretty sure the yetis in Grandia 1 were actually the ones with the white fur that lived in the snowy areas. Oh, holy tongues of fire. Either way, let's just burn them to a crisp. And then throw in a howl, I guess. And I really have to remember to like open up my Xbox 360 oh, controller because what seems to be broken is like the R1 button. Or I guess on Xbox 360 it's called the RB button, like the right, not the right trigger, but the right shoulder button. And it sometimes skips in menus and stuff like that. It's not that much of a problem yet, so I have to see whether I can fix something maybe just like some moisture issue or something like that because otherwise like i might just pivot to using only playstation controllers or something because xbox controllers they just die on me all the time two controllers in like a year it's, it's not the kind of turnover rate i would expect now yeah, let's give it a burn flame here probably doesn't too much on the Hell Dobermans, oh, but holy tongues of fire. we'll see. 
Well, actually, still quite effective on the Hellboys. Punk. <laughs> yeah, you dropped a new pair of shoes. Thank you. Charming heels from a Yeti. That's kind of very questionable. Let's see what that is. Charming heels. Observation by 25%. Hmm. Evasion by 25%. What I want Steos using? Plus 15 move, plus 10 defense, evasion by 10%. You know what? I'm willing to give it a try. Decrease her defense and her move. But not by that much, I don't think. Was there anything else I should have equipped on you? The wolf boots is what they have right now. I felt like we got some better ones, but maybe not. Okay. More enemies, maybe? Wait, I came from here, right? I like I'm so confused sometimes. Yeah, I was just like, oh I was in here, right? Did I? Yeah, there's enemies here. Clay birds but blue. Are you like sapphire birds or something? Emerald birds. Almost. Uh Beauty, what do you wanna do? I think I'll just send you into combo. Then I'll have Elena throw a burn flame here. Like this maybe. Oh holy tongues of fire. Damn. I didn't expect this to hurt them so much. It sometimes feel like okay, there's like a rock or like a stone enemy. Fire probably won't do that much and then it just one shots them. I mean good to know. We're descending here? I was like, what is the perspective, man? Uh, more yetis? Why not? Stab him in the back while we can. Uh, just give him a howl here. And then Elena's acting next. Silver. I've been thinking about something the other day. I think... I was thinking about what do I actually like better. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is giving out a little bit here. Busy Monday. Um, what do I like better? Grandia 1 or Grandia 2? A lot of people have asked me and I've always been on the edge about it. Like, I don't know. They're like fundamentally different and they have both have their like merit to them. But I feel like Grandia 2 is more replayable than Grandia 1 maybe. Because Grandia 1, you just have your character arcs and your characters only learn certain things, right? Whereas in Grandia 2, your characters will just, like, you can kit them out however you want. So, maybe you will be like, okay, my Tio, for example, is like a wind magic user, right? But what about, like, a Tio you're using in your playthrough? Maybe the Tio you are like kitting out right now or that you have kitted out is just like a melee unit, you know? So I feel like it might be fun just experimenting with that. I think this is also why they kept Merrick in the game for so long, probably. Because then you can experiment with Merrick, throw some stuff on him, he's not taken out of the equation immediately. What is this GameCube in the middle here? Okay, nothing. Uh, what is this? That looks suspicious. Yep, okay. Uh, okay. This is how that works. I didn't even see the piece of armor there, but I accept. Seems good. Hero Curious. That smells like a last armor kind of deal. Restore some HP in combat. Now that is funny because I feel like Rowan wants to have this actually because he's our tank. 
amazing. There was something up here, it was just like a uh, like a battle use item probably. Like an ice fang stone or like a red bird stone or something like that. And this one is sealed by the red orb, I assume. So now some doors probably open that were closed before. So let's walk in this direction. Can hear something moving? Yep. Emerald birds. So we're probably going to come back to the central room like every single time we activate an orb. So we shouldn't like key hold on to our stuff basically. Just blast them with all our magic and everything we got. Like you just throw like a howl slash in there for good measure. Bada bang. Now burn to a crisp. And roast him up, Rowan. Nice. Oh, that was a breeze. So it's cool when your tank can also kind of use powerful magic. Even though it's not even Rowan's specialization. Which direction do we want to go in here? I think the ice fang stone or whatever it was was like here. Yeah, okay. Flamestone, close enough. You get the idea. Then on the other side, what was there? Maybe there's just like a door over this bridge. There is a hallway here. Only red doors, they're closed. Ah, uh, one open one. I accept. Another emerald bird. They never learn. I wonder whether the next Grandia I'm saying this with a, like, pretending the next Grandia isn't out, but I'm wondering whether Grandia 2, a uh, Grandia 3 or Grandia Extreme have a character that summons, like, monsters to aid in combat. That would be really cool, especially with this battle system, I feel like. Why wouldn't you? Okay, Tio, just summon a Howl here. Beep boop. Because... Like, having four units is cool, right? Zero, but one, two, zero. I feel like... Grandia can probably handle more than four player characters at a time. I feel like four is just like a very standard JRPG number. <laughs> These guys were no real challenge. Maybe you could even simplify it and make it that... Uh, summoned monsters, they don't have MP and they don't have SP. They just have like a limited time of usage on their powers or something, so it's like using up items. Uh, birthplace of the Gods 2, okay. Let me just walk around here first. This is closed. Should we go to Birthplace of the Gods 2? I feel like maybe something bad is gonna happen. You know what, I'm gonna try anyway. But we only have like one orb. In there, I don't know. It says like the ones who don't deserve the light like will dwell in darkness forever or something, so I'm a little scared. Okay, there's just some weird eyes on the on the walls here. Don't mind me them. What is this? There's like a bomb. It's a quake stone. <laughs> Let's take on the enemies. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, if Rowan were to summon a, I don't know, like an emerald bird, for example, right? I feel like there could just be like a red bar and then a very small portrait under Rowan's portrait. It wouldn't, it wouldn't really, like, put a lot of clutter on the screen or anything. And the battle system is so fluid that turns just go by, like, in seconds, you know? These guys were no real challenge. You never really have to like consult the menus for too much, at least I don't feel like you do. It almost feels like an action game, even though it's still like very much a turn-based game, if that makes sense. But having more actors just on screen, why not? Oh, but then again, I read that Grandia Extreme actually has more people, so maybe they... They just did that. <laughs> We'll see, I guess, when I get around to playing that. 
Okay, boys, you're standing very far apart from one another. That means it's how NATO time? Because it hits the entire field. Silver. And I can just uh, rehydrate here with a giant glass of water. It's like, it's very summery in Taiwan now, by the way. It's like, it's like a solid 28 degrees Celsius outside right now or something like that. And like 90% humidity. Oh, we got an achievement for everybody being party 50. A uh, party level 50. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, lately I'm like, man. I can't wait until, like, the cold season goes and now the hot season slowly picks up and I'm like... I don't know whether I actually miss the hot season so much. It's funny because I used to be a very much like cold season guy. Okay, the Dober, the Hell Dobermans or whatever they're called, they're immune to wind. Uh, I used to be a total like cold season guy and was like, yeah, I just want every year to not have a summer, you know? But now I'm like, I just want spring and summer and the beginning of fall but no winter. Ever since I uh, started working abroad, I'm like, yeah, no, just no winter anymore, please. It's a little bit awkward of a position here. Uh, yeah, don't don't howl them to you. Yeah, well, what do I do with the Dobermans when they can't take howls, I guess? Crackle them? Nah, no, it's just, just, just too much. Uh, just combo them? Intercept that guy. Fuck you, dude. They're so quick, though, man. Okay, good one. Uh, Elena, if you would please follow suit. Who's gonna act next? This dude right here. Huh? Uh, roast them up. I think the Doberman. Yeah, the Doberman is not. In the radius anymore, sadly. Even though his head cle clearly is like in the fire plume there, but you do you, Grandia. 62 damage. You sorry fool. There we go. You better practice if you want to beat me. Easy peasy. Thank you very much. Uh, where do we want to go from here? This direction. Okay, Scarlet Potion, seems good. Weird that the ceiling like popped out there for a second. This is another... Like where the heck do I want to go? Was I here before? This is where I was before, right? Like man, this is... This is like prime, I need a map territory. I just go here and I go around. Yeah, there we go. Always go where there's still enemies. This is how I play around here. This is how we win. Let's put a howl in there. Can't even tell whether all of them are in the radius or not. Appears to be the case though. Grant. Funk. Okay, now Ryu though. You combo the one that's like furthest away from the action. We teleport in. And you, Rowan, you go for the burn flame on this guy. And Tio, I don't just go on this dude right here. Now burn to a crisp. I love how Tio just stands in the middle of the flame. <laughs> not, not bothered the slightest. You picked on the wrong people. There we go. Next, please. Okay, there's a yellow door here. And there's a save point over there, and this is a weird thing. I don't even know how to describe it, man. Uh, just recover here. May I quickly knock out a save. 
30 hours, pretty solid. Birthplace of the Gods 3. Should we be going there? Maybe we don't have a choice. Okay, let's go. So Elena and Rowan both have armors that regenerate health now. That's kind of funny. Uh, I feel like this is the best one. Yeah, this is probably the best option here. Rage and fury. See how much this does. Especially to the ancient warriors. Oh yeah, this does like nothing to the ancient warriors. Okay. Ryudo. Sky Dragon Slash. And then UTO. Sky Dragon Slash will hit everything anyway. But just for good measure, knock out one of these. See how much wind does to those ancient warriors. Yeah, it's, it does like normal damage, I guess. Take that. I think like the fire did like a hundred or like two hundred. This one did like one thousand one hundred. And then Sky Dragon Slash just does like over five thousand to every single one of them. Goodbye. <laughs> That's so good, man. <laughs> it's just the destroyer. Dang. Okay, let's see. Where do we want to go first? Let's go left first. Door that opens. Uh, many enemies. Oh, those are like bosses, huh? They seem like the bosses from Cecile Reef. They're called Dual Fists. Okay. Let me just turn up the volume for me a little bit here. There we go. That's more like it. Uh, I didn't expect there to be bosses in here. Like mini bosses. But I accept. Uh, burn up all enemies with hellfire. And then Tio, maybe something lighter on your side for now. Hmm. What do we go with? A howl slash cannot hit both of them. Let's go with a howl and see how much it does. I don't even know whether this hits both of them. No, it doesn't. Wind That's so strange. Zero, one, two, zero. I guess the main body has to be inside or something. 1900, okay. Seems normal. Hellburner time. Rage and fury. Should have maybe also have checked what they're doing, so... Mm, could be interesting. Just plunge him into the sun first, though. 1500, I think that's maybe normal. It's just that Rowan's magic isn't that strong anyway. Blizzard Rise, okay. Okay, it's pretty much everyone except for Elena there. And another Blizzard Rise. Look at that area of effect. That is a little insane, man. Uh, Elena? Now I just feel like I should knock out like the strong ones. So also restores... A lot of life restores all. Maybe I should do this now. Yeah, let's do this now. It's also nice that, like, it goes off immediately. We've never used this before or, or seen the animation before, so... Now it's time to learn. Okay, it healed us up all the way and I think it removed the penalties too. I like it. A Howl Slash here. Oh, this looks like a good Howl Slash. Let's go Silver. ultimate bonk. Yes, that was a very good one. Ryudo. Just go with the sky dragon slash. 
give it to him. <laughs> I hope it also does like 5,000 or something. Sky Dragon Slash! You're always know the protagonist is about to unleash something when he like plunges his sword into the earth. Okay, Tio, once again. Uh, hello, let's... Maybe knock out a tornado? I wonder whether a tornado or a howlnado is actually stronger. Maybe a howlnado is stronger? I don't know what the SP things are actually based on. Storm. Like, does the tornado also like scale with uh, intelligence? Sadly never explained. I would have to look up a guide for that. Maybe after this playthrough or something. Nice. I kind of hoped they would like split us up a little more. Ah, uh, freeze down and blizzard rise. They're both going on Rowan, so... Don't escape. Evade. Can you evade somewhere where you're like not in the middle of like everyone else? I don't like all of those positions, man. I guess come over here, Rowan. And then Tio. This is very funny. I think you also evade, actually. You evade to be like further away. Over here. Okay, here's freeze down. 1100 and <laughs> he's sleeping. Now you see this blizzard, right? It only hits Rowan. Ultimate tank. There we go. R Rowan, just please stay very far away from us. Uh, here we just go for a hell burner. Goodbye. Let's see how much this one does. So Rowan's hell burner did 1,500, but Rowan is not specialized in magic whatsoever. So let's see, like, what the comparison is here. Hmm. Pretty much double, I would say. This fight isn't really a threatening. If you don't get hit, uh, howl nado, please. Storm. Just launch him. I think this will maybe kill them. The HP seems really low already. Or maybe it's just wishful thinking. Who knows? And there they go. Yep, got him. Threat eliminated. Very nice. Any cool possessions here? Elf King's Boots. Don't mind if I do. Maybe they couldn't name it like Oberon's Boots because it's, Oberon is like copyrighted or something. Is it better than the Warp Shoes? Level 2 Attack Resist. I think what they actually mean is level 2 Attack Down Resist. Hmm. Is it better than uh, just warping around? What are Rowan's shoes? This decreases your move but ups your defense. I think we just want to maximize your defense probably. Exchange the royal boots for the king's boots. Then maybe it's time to say goodbye to the warp shoes because you don't really run like, we don't really do that many melee attacks right now, and the Royal Boots still give like plus 18 movement. And Ryudo still has the high movement out of, highest movement out of all of them, so I think that's good. Okay guys, for now I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I will just heal up and then come back to this space probably. I hope you enjoyed the episode. A little bit of banter there. Uh, let's just see how long this little temple takes. But for now... Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, but more importantly have a nice day, I'll be seeing you next time and bye bye.